It's insane that anyone is still supporting Israel. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. It honestly blows my mind that there are still people adamantly supporting Israel after all this. After all the people they've killed. After all the lies they've been caught in. After all their comments endorsing genocide and ethnic cleansing. And all their actions showing they mean it. If you're still supporting Israel at this point, you're just telling everyone you don't care about truth or morality. You're announcing to the world that you care only about your weird ideological agendas and geopolitical control. You are publicly proclaiming that you are a dog shit human being. That you have lived on this earth all these years without arriving at any level of emotional or psychological maturity. That you have wasted your life on this planet. Wait till the Zoomers figure out that Epstein did what he did because he was running a sexual blackmail operation for Israeli intelligence. The most significant aspect of the Epstein story is not that he helped some famous people rape minors. It's that powerful intelligence agencies use child sex slaves and sexual blackmail to exert control over our society. Nothing will convince you that Israel is a racist apartheid state held together by hate and violence faster than watching the videos uploaded onto social media by Israelis themselves. Israel talking about the voluntary migration of Palestinians from Gaza after deliberately making Gaza uninhabitable is like mugging a guy at gunpoint and saying he gave you his wallet of his own free will because you didn't physically reach into his pocket and take it from him. You guys, it's really, really, really important that Trump doesn't get reelected because if he does, then the U.S. will have a president who supports mass murder and genocide and ethnic cleansing, and he'll probably let a ton of people get killed by racist tyrants. In all seriousness, it's extremely ridiculous that Biden sabotaged peace in Ukraine and is sponsoring a genocide in Gaza, and we're all sitting here praying that he doesn't start a new war in the Middle East. Yet we're still meant to be super duper worried if Trump gets back into the White House. Biden is everything people were worried Trump would be. When you see how brutally Israeli forces treat Palestinians and anti-Zionist Jews, it ceases to be surprising that so many U.S. police departments have been trained in Israel. I feel like this fact would be getting more attention from young Americans right now if it was more widely known. When you hear someone say that somebody is racist, sexist, homophobic, or transphobic, you pretty much know what they mean by those labels. When you hear somebody say that someone is an anti-Semite, you have to ask, what kind? The real kind or the opposes apartheid and genocide kind? Israel apologists pretend to be standing up for Jews when they're really just standing up for a government. They are garden variety bootlickers. The same as any empire simp you see shrieking at people for criticizing Western warmongering. They're just slobbering over state power. Israel is such a good example of how narrative gets humans into trouble. In the 1800s, a few people cooked up some verbal stories about the need for a Jewish ethno-state, and now in 2024, we're being told it's fine and good for that state to be slaughtering children by the thousands and preparing to drive Palestinians out of their homeland because Israel has a right to defend itself. This whole catastrophe was born of mental thought fluff, with no grounding in nature or physical reality. If humanity is to become a conscious species, we're going to have to cease being dominated by the mental narratives between our ears and begin relating to real life on real life's terms, and begin functioning in a more natural way on this planet. You don't see animals committing genocide because some thought stories they made up about how things are and how they ought to be drove them insane, and conscious humans won't do that either. <laughs>